Are you struggling to make an impact on social media? Do you find yourself posting content but not seeing the engagement and growth that you're hoping for? Recently I found myself in that same exact situation and I knew there had to be a better way. That's when I remembered Gary Vee and his innovative approach to social media content creation. So I thought, why not enlist the help of AI to see if I could teach it how to implement Gary Vee's social media methods? But well, what exactly is the best way to do that? Well, in this video, I'm gonna break it down for you step by step. By the end of this video, you're gonna know how to build an AI assistant that is an expert in social media trained on Gary Vee's methods and strategies. This assistant will deeply understand Gary's approach to creating content pyramids, micro content, and adjusting content to specific platforms and a whole lot more, including automatically creating short form videos like these. So here's our man, Gary V. He is a Belarusian American entrepreneur, author, speaker, and internet personality. He is especially known for his prowess in digital marketing and social media. His content model revolves around a few of these concepts here, the content pyramid, creating a pillar content, and then creating micro content around that, making sure that everything that you create is uh, geared specifically towards the platform that you're aiming at. A lot of people People make that mistake where they just try to put the same content on all the different platforms. We're going to dive into all sorts of AI prompts for all of these steps. He is a big fan of volume and speed, so making sure you're putting stuff out there. It's got to be good, but it's got to be uh, created quickly and consistently. And then following engagement, getting people to respond and react to what you create. His key strategies include this jab, jab, right hook, which is uh, basically providing value multiple times before you're asking for anything in return. He's also big on trend surfing, so quickly adopting and leveraging new platforms and features. I've got a custom GPT that I want to share with you that does a great job of helping with this. He's big on personal branding, so consistently reinforcing your personal brand across all content. As you may know, he is a New York Jets fan, possibly the world's most famous New York Jets fan. And this is one of the ways that he stays authentic and creates that uh, consistent brand identity across all of what he is uh, working on. So today we're going to look at some prompts and then how you can build custom GPTs from those prompts that help you walk through all of these and in that way creating your own social media assistants that are experts at all of Gary Vee's teachings. If you're new to the Blazing Zebra channel, I want to welcome you and thank you for joining me on my mission of helping entrepreneurs and folks all over the world learn how to use these AI tools in a practical and actionable and ideally profitable way. I've got a cheat sheet version of this video along with all my other videos available to anybody who supports me on Patreon. I've also got some coaching options in there as well. So we're jumping into the cheat sheet here. This is a subject matter that's very close to my heart. I really went to town on this cheat sheet. It's well over 20 pages. There's a lot here on this document don't create that can really help you build authenticity and understand uh, a bunch about yourself and what you do to build that in. So there's a few there that you might want to look at and try out, but I'm going to jump forward a little bit into the content pyramid strategy. I've created a lot of uh, videos about how to create long form content using AI. I will link to that playlist now so you can use that to build your long form content from there we're going to slice and dice this using the pyramid strategy. So I'm just going to copy and paste this first uh, prompt here into ChatGPT. I'm just saying I have this ultimate guide about baking pies attached. Can you suggest ways to break it down into smaller content pieces? You may think this is something you can just do on your own, but using the AI can help you brainstorm out in so many different directions. Look at all of the different angles it came up with for how to slice and dice just this one piece of long form content goes on and on. Now moving on to the micro content strategy section here in the cheat sheet. How do I condense these main ideas into a single tweet? So I'm just picking one of those ideas and saying, hey, let's condense this down into a single tweet. So there you go. It's taken some complicated things from that uh, long form guide and condensed them down into a simple tweet. Now I'm going to move on with this prompt to restructure it for maybe something that might work better on LinkedIn because we want to make sure we are getting the right information to the right platforms and what works on Twitter is not going to work on LinkedIn. I'm saying how might I restructure this into a LinkedIn article that resonates with a professional audience? And just like that, it has taken that idea and pulled it into a uh, article that would perform pretty well on LinkedIn. 
I have a whole separate video on how to edit these to get the most out of these pieces. I'll link to that now as well. But in this way, we are going through and slicing and dicing our big pieces of content into a bunch of different ideas. And we are repurposing those into the different social media platforms that we are focused on. Next, getting into the section all about speed and consistency. So these prompts can really help you use the large language model to consistently build stuff and get stuff out there to the world. I'm going to grab this prompt and I'm just using this short and simple prompt. Can you help me generate 10 quick video ideas related to this that I can produce in a day? So oftentimes the AI can give you some elaborate ideas. We want to hone it in on just some quick, simple things we can rock out. And you can pick from any of those what seem like the easiest and quickest to create. This is a constant struggle that any social media creator faces is they want to do quality, but they want to also, you've got to consistently build stuff and publish stuff each day. These prompts can help with that. Next are prompts all about engagement. So list some effective questions I can ask my followers to encourage more comments on my post about this. These are good. A few of them are very obvious, but it's getting into some um, ones that I would never have thought of. Really helping you break out of your own mindset when it comes to creating user engagement questions, which can be huge for social media. Here are a bunch of other prompts related to his jab, jab, right hook strategy. This can be helpful for brainstorming a bunch of different content leading up to a piece of content where you're asking for the purchase. So you can think of the marketing funnel, what pieces might be at the top of the funnel and moving down closer to the bottom of the funnel, which is the purchase. So adding value all along the way so that the purchase does not come as a shock or a surprise. And it's something that your uh, audience is very interested in. So now we're getting into Gary's approach to trend surfing, which I think is incredible. Uh, you know that tapping into different trends on social media is a great way to grow and get engagement. So these are some prompts that can help you identify these different trends and sculpt your content around them. So now that I've shown you a bunch of different prompts related to Gary V's strategy, I think you're starting to get the idea of how this works. But the most impactful part is building a custom GPT, a custom assistant that can help you walk through all of these automatically that you can engage with. I have a whole video all about automating any process and it walks you through building custom GPTs. But I'm going to show you how to do that now in the context of social media. So I've got a link in the cheat sheet to this custom GPT for content repurposing. And I've also got the instructions in there that you can see here that you can uh, start to manipulate and change yourself if you'd like. But the fastest way is to just jump right in here. This is a content repurposing bot where I took a bunch of the prompts that I showed you and I pushed them through my process that's outlined in my automate any process video where basically you take a bunch of prompts, you turn them into a prompt sequence where you go step by step through each prompt and then you convert all of those into a a custom GPT. And that's exactly what I did to create these instructions for this content repurposing bot. It's fairly simple. Just by taking a series of prompts, you can have it walk you through this entire process of uploading a piece of long form content. And then it's going to tell us how to repurpose it. So I'm going to upload that same guide and it's generating a bunch of different ideas here, ways to slice and dice this. All I have to say is please proceed. And now we're moving on to platform selection. I'm going to say Instagram. And these are the same prompts we went through, just a rearranged in uh, the format of instructions. I'm going to choose Reels because I'm going to show you pretty soon how to create this video content very quickly. These are pretty awesome. They walk you through exactly what clips you need to make these short videos. I'm going to ask it to create some tweets as well. And this bot is now giving us some ideas on the visual elements for all of this. And now it's mapping out the entire content calendar, telling us when to post, what to post, etc. This gets right at Gary V's focus on consistency. Awesome. So I have one more custom GPT that I want to show you. But before that, I want to show you some things I've been doing to create these really cool short videos. It starts with just generating some trending topic ideas. So I'm going to ask it to please list 30 trending topics in baking. So this is my area of expertise in this example. And now I'm asking it to please list trending topics in healthy eating, which is what my audience is focused on. 
Now I'm asking it to please create some surprising and novel connections between these two lists for our content ideas that are in lockstep with the trends of what I'm doing and the trends of what my audience is interested in. Number four looks pretty great. So I'm just going to ask it now to create a short video. So a short video is like 150 words. I'm going to ask it to please return a transcript only. This transcript should be able to stand on its own as audio without any visuals. Frankly, Claude has been doing a great job of this, but it looks like ChatGPT requires me to nudge it a little bit to create what I want. And now I'm dropping this transcript right into Eleven Labs to create the voiceover. I'm going to generate that speech. Today, we're diving into the world of superfood muffins. We'll download this. I'm going over to Descript and logging in creating a new project here, and I'm gonna upload that file that we just created. Selecting this into a portrait mode here, and I'm gonna look just for some media here about baking, dropping that in, getting it to fit the full screen here, and then I'm gonna add some captions. I'm gonna add a little inspirational music. Today, we're diving into the world of superfood muffins. Combining the deliciousness and there you have it. You can export it right here into YouTube. And in just a few seconds, maybe less than a minute, you can create these videos that work great for uh, social media, especially Reels and YouTube Shorts. You want to make sure that you're infusing them with a lot of authenticity and any of knowledge that you have. But this can be a really quick workflow to get some really good stuff out there and capture that speed and consistency angle that Gary Vee always talks about. And lastly, I want to walk you through another custom GPT that I made for trend surfing. So this is another one I've been having a lot of fun with and getting some great value out of. These are the prompts for trend surfing. I took these and crunched them through my same process of building instructions. I came up with these instructions that will walk you through spotting trends and building content specifically around trending topics. Let me show you this. So here it is. All you got to do is click Let's Begin. And give it a little information about yourself. I say I run a healthy bakery targeting active adults in Portland, Maine, and I'm currently on Instagram. It says, thanks for sharing. Here's a summary. And it said, would you like me to proceed to step two, trend identification? So it goes out and looks for different trend ideas for you and found some really great stuff here. Wellness Wednesdays worked great for my particular audience of active adults. And it went through this authenticity check that, uh, you know, Gary Vee is big on at making sure that it aligns with your personal brand, looks at any concerns that I might have. So I've worked with it on aligning this content with maybe a bike ride that I like to do on Wednesdays. Uh, one of the concerns I had was what do we do in bad weather, walks through all of those different concerns. And then it starts to iterate on content, these Wednesday morning bike rides, stuff we can do indoors, healthy recipe spotlights, other wellness tips, other behind the scenes ideas. I felt that number one was actually the best here. That is just focusing on those Wednesday morning bike rides. So you can see what I'm entering in here is very, very small, and we're really getting the large language model to do a lot of the work. That's the glory of learning how to build these custom GPTs, learning how to properly set up prompt sequences and build them into instructions. Uh, it walks you through just this whole implementation plan for how to get this done, thinking of everything, including hashtags, engagement tips, and a full content calendar and then gives me a final recap. So again, that is in the cheat sheet along with all of the instructions there so you can modify it because really making it your own is where it's at when you get true mastery is when you start to customize and personalize all of these. There is a ton in the cheat sheet that I created for this video. In addition to all the prompts I went over, there's at least 10 times as many. There's well over 100 prompts. And I think this cheat sheet is really gonna be helpful to getting deeper into Gary Vee's strategy. So I hope you've got a ton from this video. If you haven't subscribed already, I'm seeing that most of the people that are watching these videos are not yet subscribed. If that's you, I'd appreciate you hitting that subscribe button so we can keep in touch. To that note, shoot me some comments. What can I help with? What am I off base on? What are you struggling with here? What can I make future videos on? And give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next one. Make the print.